Hey y'all and welcome back to Keeping Up with Christy. I'm Christy and on this week's vlog, I'm showing you all about our family vacation. We just got back uh, this weekend um, from our family vacation. We spent it at Ocean Lakes Campground at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we had some beautiful weather at the beginning part of the week. Uh, mild temperatures, sunny days. It was just lovely to sit out on the beach together as a family. There's the guys there out there playing bocce ball on the beach. That's one of their favorite things to do. Uh, but it was just nice to be able to sit out there by the water. Um, the first few days there was a hurricane out in the ocean and so the water was rough. Uh, kind of hard to get in there and swim. They had the flags up that told you not to swim. And then um, toward the end of the week that hurricane came on in, inland and we ended up having some rain. There was a guy on a unicycle. We have never seen that on the beach before, so I was like, I gotta get that. So, anyway, it was just a lot of fun to sit out there with the family and just rest and have a good time of uh, just family time. And then back at the house that we rented, uh, there was cornhole boards, and so the kids, Neil and I, would spend time out there on the porch together and um, playing some cornhole, which is always fun. So just come along, watch the whole video. Hope you stay to the end and see what all we um, did and a lot of what we ate. Hey y'all, welcome to um, what we like to do it on our Ocean Lakes campground. Hi, I'm there with Maddie. Hey Maddie. Um, we like to go out at night on our golf cart and play golf cart tag. So we have rules, got hair in my mouth sticking to my lip gloss. We got rules that we have to follow. Oh, there's bright lights. I see, that's nice. We have rules we have to follow. So we're about to go into one of the houses we're renting. Nan and Popper, Neil's mom and daddy, are down here with us at the beach. We're for the whole week, brought our kids, doing a vacation. And um, Nan and Pop came down for a few days. So we're all about to go play golf cart tag. Three golf carts, three tees. I don't get to drive. That's okay. And we're going to go out. Nana pop Maddie on one team. Abby and Drew on one team. Me and Neil on one team. We'll show you as we go along. Okay? Here we go. Okay. So the game just started. And this is what we're going to do. So Neil and I are playing cat and mouse. Sorry. Neil and I are playing cat and mouse with our teams. So basically what you do is you're on your golf cart. And we are the mice. Uh, we're in one golf cart. Uh, we got two kids behind us in another golf cart. They're also the mice. Maybe that's the stop sign. There we go. We got the fast golf cart. And then we have a cat. That's Madison with her grandparents, Nana and Pop. And they are the cat and they have, we have to get a three minute head start and then they will come and find us. So we have perimeters blocked off in the Ocean Lakes campground. So we know where we can't go, where we keep away from the busy park tonight. We're gonna stay away from the strip and we're gonna stay away from kind of around the pool area and all that. We're gonna go to the quiet area. I hope nobody's bothered by us. We keep real clean and respectful around here and we make sure we don't bother nobody. Right, baby? No. <laughs> yes! We're, gonna bother somebody. we're not gonna bother anybody. We're always very polite and very nice. We're gonna be loud. So, here we go. There's security guard. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? All right, so we're off. We're gonna play this game. It's a lot of fun. I don't know. I've been playing this since I was a teenager, and my kids love doing this when we come to Ocean Lakes Campground. Good old Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, <laughs> but you gotta yell at us. You gotta say we got you. We didn't hear nothing. Yeah. You were turning in. Oh, they said they say they saw oh, us. Oh, they got us. Turning in. Oh. So then we were called. Oh, we've done it. We've done called. Uh, you called Drew and Abby? Yeah. Twice. Oh, Where are they? They called us. They called y'all. So they cheated? No. They we, were, we came to a stop sign and then they come across the road. And then Abby went like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it ain't me. Did y'all yell them? Yeah. Yell them I down? Out behind them. Yeah, we'll pull well, where are they now? Them. Oh, there they are. They're over there. There they are over there. <laughs> so y'all caught all of us. He's kind of a big fella. So y'all, y'all got caught twice. They said. <laughs> hey y'all. So while we're here at the beach, um, we're doing some meals here in the house. So I want to share with you 
what we're doing. Um, next week's video will be this recipe that I brought with me. It's called Mexican lasagna. So watch for next week's video, but let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out because it's nice and hot, brown and bubbly. So there it is. And what we have is just an aluminum pan. We get these off of Amazon. We order them this way. They come with lids, you know, in the set. So I just write on the top of them what's in it and how long it's gonna take. I think I just dropped something on me. I'll have my apron on tonight. But when we uh, come to the beach on vacation, I don't like to go out for every single meal. We're here for eight days. So of course we're going out to eat some of our favorite places and we wanna show you guys some of that in this video. But we also want to make sure we're responsible and good stewards with our money. And so of course that means you have to eat some in the house. So we buy stuff for lunches that we can make sure and have at the beach or here at the house. We keep the uh, freezer stocked with some taquitos and chicken nuggets. Those are some of our favorites. And I bring along a few meals, things that I can just throw in the oven and heat up or either heat up on top of the stove. So already this week on vacation, we've had um, the baked ravioli that you saw um, last week on the YouTube video. If you didn't see it, then make sure you go check out last week's video because I showed you baked ravioli. So what I do at home is, you know, I make that one for that night's meal and then I make one to put in the freezer for a meal prep. And this one was one of those as well that we knew we were going to be bringing to the beach. It makes dinner at the beach quick and easy. So we're going to eat this and then we're going to play bingo. So one of mine and Neil's favorite places to go while we're at the beach is called Dagwoods. There's the Dagwoods Deli in Myrtle Beach and then there's Dagwoods Deli Sports Bar and Grill or Sports Bar and Pub. I can't remember exactly how it's worded, but that's where we took the kids one night for dinner. And while we were there, they had team trivia going on. So it was a lot of fun. The food's always good. And we were able just to hang around, order coffee and play trivia. We were in first and then we came in fifth. So, you know, you can't win them all. <laughs> but we had a good time. And then we went back out for more um, golf cart tag and sometimes we don't play golf cart tag sometimes we just ride around and have a good time just checking out all the houses and it's nice and cool in the evening and you can get out and just kind of do a ride so that's fun too uh, then we took the kids to breakfast Neil's favorite meal is breakfast and he loves to eat at any time of the day and so we went out for actual breakfast one morning while we were there and um, it was so good. This place was called the Golden Griddle. They had the best pancakes. And um, there's Abby's. Hers were like stuffed pancakes and had um, apples in them. They were delicious. Okay, so this is what we do on a rainy day at the beach. And we're gonna have an all out washout today. We're all set up. Everybody's got their money. I'm banker. Here we go, let the games begin. Hey y'all, um, so tonight is Thursday on our um, vacation week. And so it has been a washout. It has been raining all day. There's Neil and Maddie and Abby and there's Andrew. He's in the back too. So, so let me tell you what all we're doing tonight. So we came out, it's still gonna be stormy and rainy and yucky, but everything we're doing is indoors. Uh, we're going to an escape room. We found um, a Groupon that we could use and gonna be doing Escapeology in Myrtle Beach with our Groupon. It saved us for our family of five, like 50 bucks. So that's a good savings and I was happy with that. So we're, it's like our one big special night out, the whole family to go out and, you know, get something, have something fun to do, right baby? Yes. Yes. So, we're going to do an escape room. The kids and I have all done them before, and Neil never has. He's a little bit claustrophobic, but we told him he'll be fine. If you need to get out, they'll get you out, but I think I think he'll be fine. So, you're going to be fine. That's how he quarters, is it? No, 
baby. They don't put you in a box. They put you in a room. Yeah, but they lock me in. Hence the name Escape Room. <laughs> okay. But then after that, we have reservations at one of our places to eat down here at Myrtle Beach. Woo, that was big lightning. Um, Carolina Roadhouse. So we'll be going to Carolina Roadhouse. The kids have never gone. We've only gone when Neil and I come to the beach sometimes for just date weekends. And so we want to make sure and take them. It's kind of special and nice. And so we think it's a little more upscale than Hamburger Joe's. We love our Hamburger Joe's, but it's a little more upscale. So we're going to take them there tonight. We think they'll enjoy that. So we're just looking forward to having a good night out as a family. Are y'all are y'all excited? Yeah. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so much enthusiasm that can hardly contain it. So we'll show you along the way. We won't be able to show you um, the escape room. I know they won't allow my camera on, but um, you know, we'll show our picture when we're done. Tell you if we escape on time or not. So I'll keep watching. We're out from our um, escape room. That was Neil's first time. What'd you think, baby? Um, it was pretty fun. Um, I had a good okay. time, but it's just too tedious for me. <laughs> my nerves and my ADD go crazy. But we got out though. Yeah. We made it out. We didn't get stuck and they didn't have to just let us out. We made it out with like only three minutes to spare. We used up almost our whole hour, but we did it and we got out. Yeah, I thought it was fun, but I will not lie. This time going through this escape room, there was a moment that I was, it was hot in there. I was like thinking we should just tell them y'all come open our door and let us out yeah. because hot. it was hot in there and well of course you have to wear your mask and you have to wear gloves and they provide both if you don't have them we all had our we all had our own mask that we own and i had freshly washed them um so when you're getting frustrated and you feel like you're under a time crunch and feeling a little bit like a moron you might feel like an idiot sometimes no, not them. No, but, they will not talk. But the old people. <laughs> right, baby? Right. Neil kept saying to the person monitoring our room, we're stupid. We're just idiots. You might have to give us another clue. And yeah, she did. And she did. She was very nice. But I, there are people who don't make them out every time. So I told we him not to feel bad. We, we made it out. So We were anyway. in the lost city and we were lost. We were, in, we were discovering the lost city. Oh, the Did it. Now we're going to go eat. We are hungry and we are thirsty. Right, baby? Yes, but it was a good time. It was fun. So, it's an hour of our time and it was money well spent. And we got 20% off if we want to go do it again. We might one day. Probably not know. take Neil, but. Why not? I'm just saying because you didn't like it as much. Yeah, well, for me, you wouldn't have got out of that place. <laughs> And that's the way the story will be told kept, now. Because I kept saying, just put the number in. And y'all finally just put the number in and we got it. We had to learn what the number was to put it in. But yes, we did. Y'all weren't sure. Mm, it was all due to Neil. Thanks, Neil. You're welcome. So glad you were that with us. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm going to go eat now. No, there's top over there. So the last place we took the kids was Carolina Roadhouse at Myrtle Beach. And we just think the place is beautiful. The food and service are always excellent. Uh, so everybody enjoyed a good meal there. The nights that I did not uh, cook, we went out to eat, but there were a lot of nights that we made our meals at the house. Those, I have some of those on videos either before our family vlog for vacation or after. Fisherman returns. <laughs> If you'd have never had that big rod, you'd have never gotten him in. We'll see that big fine catch. Wow, is that a brim? It is a, <laughs> it is a croaker. Croaker. Little tiny. Oh, I do not hear. No, don't, don't, don't bring him. Don't bring him in closer. I don't need to hear him croak. Let's see him. How, how big is he? Oh, he <laughs> is croaking. Oh my croaking. gosh, that's why they call him that, huh? That's why they call him I that. heard him croak. <laughs> thanks for watching along as we shared our family vacation. Um, thanks for watching every week and helping support our channel. We really do appreciate it. Leave your comments down below of what you did this year for your family vacation or if you have any more trips planned. I love to get inspiration.